Hey everyone, Bitter Hyena here, and welcome to the first official Pokemon news video. Now, I had planned on doing these videos every weekend, but as the last few weeks have gone on since I posted the original video, there's I've noticed there's not a lot of news sometimes during the week. So, this video will actually go to every uh every couple weekends or something like that after there's been enough news announced to make a full video. So if you want smaller updates throughout the week, go to my bio, click on my Instagram, and follow me there. But today we do have some things to talk about, so let's go ahead and get started. A couple weeks ago it was announced that there is a new Lycanroc form. There's actually two new ones, but only one of them has been announced so far. It is the Lycanroc Dust Form. It was also revealed that each Lycanroc form will be able to use a special all-new Z-move called Radical Edge Storm. Now this move will be able to use if it knows Stone Edge, and of course has the right Z-Crystal for it. Now along with the first Lycanroc form, we've actually had a few other Pokemon announced. The first two are two new Ultra Beast, one for Sun and one for Moon. The one for Sun is UB Burst, and the one for Moon is UB Assembly. And from how it sounds, there's of course going to be a few more Ultra Beasts in the new games too. We also have two new forms from Necrozma. Now these forms are made from how it looks when he fuses with Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon's legendaries of course, Solgaleo and Lunala. The Solgaleo form is called Mane of Dusk, and Lunala's is Wings of Dawn. But as of now, that's all the new Pokemon that they've announced for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. And what I've talked about before in the last video was Shining Legends. The new Pokemon movie is coming to the U.S. for two nights only, November 5th and November 6th. In celebration for the movie, you can now download a special Pikachu with a different Ash Hat every week from September 19th to October 30th. And right here you will see all the different dates and what weeks has which hat. And today, well, I take it back, tomorrow is the last day to download the Ash Hat Pikachu. So if you're one of the Gen 1ers like I am and want Ash Hat Pikachu, the original one, you better get it today or tomorrow. Now, along with those Pikachus, there's also one more that you can get. For those of you who go see the movie on November 5th and 6th, you will get a QR code for the Pikachu with the Ash Hat from the movie. And it's the only way to get that one, as of right now at least. Along with the QR code for the Pikachu, you will also get the cool Pikachu promo with him in that hat also. Now speaking of the cards, let's go ahead and talk about some of the news that was announced for the card game. For those of you who do follow me on Instagram, will know a while back that I had talked about a new Battle Arena deck that was supposed to come out, like the Black q Ram and the White q Ram one. It was a Landorus and Genesect deck, but as of right now, with all of the stuff coming out for Shining Legends and Believe me, go back and watch the video. There is a ton of it. We've got pin collections, we've got elite trainer boxes, we've got giant premium collection boxes. Just there's a whole slew of stuff. And with all of this stuff coming out within the next couple months, they've just completely canceled this thing. Maybe they'll bring it back, but as of right now, there's no sign of it ever being released. So if you wanted it, I'm sorry, I don't know what to tell you. Now along with the cancellation of the new Battle Arena deck, we've also had some pushbacks too. The awesome Alolan Raichu figure collection has been pushed back to next year. I haven't heard an official time, but from what it looks like, it's going to be probably around March. There was also supposed to be a Tapu Lele pin collection that comes with just normal Tapu Lele card. It still hasn't been given a release date because of all of this Shining Legend stuff. To me, this is... I don't know. It seems kind of stupid. They should have just left some of the Shining Legends cards that they've taken out for the premium collections. Like the full arts, the Shining cards and all that. They should have just left them in the set. Should have just left them in the set and then let us buy single booster packs of them. It would have been a whole lot easier and they would have still been able to release this stuff. But... I mean, what can we do? It was their decision, so... That's just my opinion, though. Now for a little Japanese card news. The GX Battle Boost Booster Box will be released on October 20th, and it was also announced that we're going to get some more Ultra Beasts in this set. Well, at least one right now. It is Formosa. I believe that's how you say that. If I'm wrong, put it in the comments below. Help me out. 
Now normally, you would think we would get some of these GX cards in Crimson Invasion, and honestly, I'm not 100% sure if we are getting any GX cards in Crimson Invasion. But what I do know is we are getting some of them in, once again, more premium collections. Here are the two collection boxes we're getting. Now they do seem pretty cool, and from what I can tell, they both come with a mat. But the Formosa that was announced for GX Battle Boost will be in this box here. Now what we did get announced for the new US set Crimson Invasion is the pre-release promos. We have Raichu, Salazzle, Regiice, and Regirock. And these cards are absolutely beautiful. Salazzle's probably my least favorite with Regirock being tied and then Alolan Raichu. I mean, I'm going to be happy with either one of the four that I get, but Salazzle's the least one that I want out of the four. I'm really hoping to get one of the Regis. Probably Reggie Rock. Gotta say, he's he's honestly probably my favorite above Reggie Ice. But everyone, that is all I have for you today. I'm not exactly sure 100% of how long this video is going to be, and this is what I was originally talking about. So, like I said, from this point forward, once we've gone a couple weeks or so often with enough news to do an actual good, good news video, we will do one. But if you'd like up-to-date stuff, like I said, Click on my bio, go over there, and go to my Instagram and follow me there. Because as soon as stuff gets announced and I see about it, it's automatically posted up there or within a few hours, something like that. Because I do have a 40-hour job. I can't afford to do this full-time. Yet. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the love and support, as always. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. And check out another video. There will be another Pokemon card opening tomorrow, so hit the little bell button so you get the notification for it. And I will see you all later. Bye.